Okay. Here we go. Getting to the end steps. There we are. Decoration time. And when you decorate the ash waste, you just need loads of junk. And boy, do I have plenty of those. And basically, this video is going to be me decorating. Keeping in mind, of course, I do have to pack these up and make them travel quite a distance without being destroyed too bad. Uh, so, yeah, basically just piles of junk everywhere. There's, uh, you know, the, the idea that I have as far as the, the, uh, the ash waste is concerned is that it's just gigantic garbage piles uh, everywhere. And people have either just moved them out of the way to make a life or are transmuting it uh, into other things, you know, building it. <laughs> I don't think I use transmuting correctly. As you can see what I did earlier there, get a model underneath there. This is supposed to be just kind of a wayside shack. We're going to be adding quite a bit of super glue here. Uh, when I was doing this first part, I only had the one bottle left and it was gel, which is really not what you want for this, but you know, must needs. Uh, I use whatever I have. If you watch a little later, I'm struggling to get the glue out because there's hardly any left. The next night I'll have, I'll finish this tile and then uh, you'll get to see another form of glue. Uh, somebody uh, in the Sump City Radio Discord uh, was asking for a bit of advice as far as modeling is concerned. And amazingly enough, my name got popped up, uh, which was really cool. Um, and, you know, one of the most important things, especially on terrain journeys, that is kind of unsung and unspoken is... I think one of the things that I wish I would have done right away and uh, learned as I was going is the glue. Um, if you guys have been watching the videos and the channel for a little bit, I've got just about every kind under the sun. Um, we're going to be doing a resin pour on this board a little later. I think I'm actually going to video that on the other four tiles. And basically what's going on here is that I am struggling just to get some video started here and to get this build going with this uh, less than full last bits of uh, glue gel. There's, uh, yeah, there's something to be said about that. Um, and I think we're gonna do the transition here. I mean, you can use gel, gel's great, but for a build like this, you want something a little more liquidy. And I managed to go grab some the next night here, and you will see right away how fast everything goes. Now this is the smelly, runny stuff, but I managed to find a source with nice, great big dropper bottles for it here. Um, now, I like polystyrene. I like the goopy stuff. Now, I don't have uh, access to uh, Uhu, I think is what they use over in Europe. Um, we use the E6000 here for the thicker stuff. Um, you know, or you can just use silicone. I've used that too. I have all kinds of different stuff. Um, I really think it opens up your ability to just do what you need to do and have it stay together for the most part. Um, the rest of the video here is basically me just, you know, parts and stuff up, get piles of crap out of my, you know, crap pile. I don't want to call it cack because that's Magrathea's thing. Um, even though I really want to every time I talk about it. Um, but that's his handle. I'm not going to say it. Mine's going to be a big pile of crap. But uh, yeah, you just put the glue over your baking soda it up. It leaves texture, 
dries real fast, nice and hard. Uh, here we go on the second tile here, and on this one, yeah, here we go. Uh, from Mantic Games, I got their campsite. So we're gonna make this a little park campsite kind of a thing. <laughs> and then add junk. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys take a look at this for a little bit. Then I'll be back when the time comes when I do get a little bit of a wild hair up my butt and the project switches. Okay, here we are on the third tile. Uh, the other side's gonna be a campground, which is great. But we're gonna be using, as you can see, because it's on the top pieces there, I need a stronger glue than just the super glue. Because those are gonna be stacked one on top of the other when I'm putting it in the, the crate. Um, then we're gonna use the super glue, you know, on this other stuff. Uh, I didn't wanna fill this up, this this piece is gonna have a lot of the sump on it. So I uh, want, you know, that's gonna be pretty prominent on this. And it also has that overhang of the scatter terrain that I made too. So it's good to get, you know, a picture in your head. We got a little pipe floating around in there with some debris on it. Um, I have plenty of catwalks, you know, if we need to add those as, you know, we wanna build the board. But uh, for the most part, you know, the, the decoration on this was going to be somewhat light. I was just going to give some points of interest. The orange, when I, you know, when I paint this fluorescent orange, that's going to be something with a purple sump going in the middle. That's going to be something. But one of the things I noticed when I got to this tile was there wasn't a whole lot. Now, there's the great big rig that I'm going to put in there. But... When I had it all laid out on the board and I went, what the heck? I was like, I got this great big wall of nothing. So, pulled out the old foam cutter here and we're gonna be cutting some divots into the, uh, into the foam pieces here. Um, and then layering them with junk. There's, uh, I was, Considering making all of this something that models could go into, and they can, not all the way, you know, so they could duck into it with cover. Um, but uh, be honest, this is turning into more of an aesthetic play, um, just because I didn't want one big orange wall on one side of it. It's a pretty neat idea. Um, and uh, anytime you get to cut foam is awesome, uh, especially when... <laughs> <laughs> when they're supposed to be rock formations. Um, the last time I did this on any kind of videoing, I was videoing on my camera, of course. Um, this is a lot more in depth. You guys can actually see kind of what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, the ripping out of stuff. Um, in a lot of cases, I'd save this foam, but in this particular one, I don't think I have any other place to use it. And I already have bags of cut up foam all over the place, so this is gonna go into the recycling. <laughs> but yeah, basically all we're gonna do here is cut this out and then we're gonna, we're gonna layer it with stuff. Now, one of the big things to uh, keep in mind this is a project switch. I didn't plan this originally. Um, so you gotta remember all the, the basics and let's not have another blooper like I had when I was gluing, 
gluing those down first. Um, <clears throat> yeah, a little bit here, we're gonna get the uh, PVA and sand texture and we're gonna, we're gonna do all of the inside here. Um, I'm also gonna glue a few loose items in there using that glue. And then we're gonna come back with uh, my, uh, my standard super glue baking soda trick on the rest of the junk, but yeah. I guess the thing to remember here, this is kind of be, gonna be aesthetic. Um, this isn't really gonna be, you know, playable surface. And that's a decision you have to make when you're doing stuff like this. I could have made it playable. Um, I don't think it would have worked very well with the way this board is gonna lay out because people are gonna be zooming vehicles back and forth. But a little area underneath there where you can just duck a guy in and maybe get a partial cover. Hey, that's, you know, that sounds like a good plan to me. Um, also gives a lot more texture to this board and let's be, you know, make the pile of garbage that I have a little bit less, you know, not that much. Um, a lot of this is going to be uh, textured at uh, a little bit differently later. Um, and I am gonna stop talking here real quick and then we'll let you guys watch me work. Yeah, this is good stuff. Um, just get to use some of the stuff that I've accumulated over the decades of crap that I've saved. Um, little pieces, pipes, different kits. Um, got a couple of backpacks in there, some busted up lead weapons, or not lead, but white metal lead weapons, you know, orc stuff, imperial stuff, chaos backpacks. You know, it's all good. Um, it's simply just giving it, uh, you know, a, a home on terrain. This is going to be great, you know. And I'm going to bet in 10, 15 years, this piece of thing that I'm working on right now isn't going to be, you know, viable anymore. It's going to be bashed up and, you know, then I'll rip this apart and we'll reuse it again. Um, it's awesome best part about hobbying and modeling um, you can always reuse it again so it's not something that is so direct that uh, you know you use it the one time you know I, I feel the same way with painted models and stuff um, you know I, I know I'm not uh, in the majority I don't think a lot of people like doing it once and that's it well once you start accumulating, you begin to understand that this just doesn't end. And it's great that it doesn't because, good Lord, look at this. It's a whole day of awesomeness, just playing with things. <laughs> Got a big battle wagon tire in there. And then there's a second edition orc truck tire in there. Uh, you know, that's 20 years right there. So here's the end. Um, I really like my little little caverns there on the end. Yeah, we got our wayside stop going on before you hit the toll bridge. Yeah, it's not exactly solid, but you know, that's okay. It's the wastes. It's a pumping station. All right. So I'm gonna call this build done. Been a lot of fun, a little bit of bloopers going here and there. 
There is a couple more things I'm going to do to it before uh, it's fully done. We're going to coat all the stuff I just got done doing with uh, PVA glue and then sprinkle with sand to give us a little, dust, little more dust effect. Then we're going to prime it up. We're going to paint it. I'm not going to video that part of it for you. Um, so the next video, uh, we'll be painting, starting to paint this beast. It's going to be awesome. Uh, thanks so much, you guys. Uh, please like and subscribe if you really enjoy our stuff. And have a good night. We'll see you on the sump.